Welcome everyone, your favorite angry piece of furniture here for yet another video. So, this is going to be a rebirth of an original series that I had on my channel before. But, you know, since the rebirth of it, I haven't done Skyrim videos. In fact, I haven't played Skyrim in several months, so. Or, well, bare minimum three months, but. So, I have. So, don't. So, expect me to mess up with controls. Sensitivity is weird for some reason. But today, is we are going to do, as my original series was, a tips and tricks. Now, this will be pretty much helping anyone who's still new to the game or just wants to find out some stuff that, you know, you'd probably find that by just Googling it. But I'm just going to show you them. Anyways, shut up, Brill. But what we are going to do is we are going to do the plate slash black bladder I mean platter glitch I'm trying to be I'm trying to make this a, a semi serious video but you know that ain't gonna work out at all since I sort of just woke up but whatever I'm trying to find a good spot to use the glitch because what this does is it pretty much helps you get through a locked door if you're just feeling too lazy to go through a locked door or wall it, this works with certain surfaces it works better with a platter though. I read it works better if you face it this way, I think. I don't know. Aha. See that? My tip, however, is uh sorry, I forgot how do you how you open this. Is to carry two on you. Just in case you get yourself locked in, you'll have a second one to get on the other side again. So there you go, there's a tip right there. These these videos are gonna be a little shorter, but just gonna say this. It does work with a plate, I believe. Oh. Sorry. It does work with a plate. I've used it with a plate before as well, but... See that? It, right there. It works with a plate too. But, it's way easier to use a platter. Now, one of the most practical uses for it, in fact, I'm going to show you it. I want this video to be a little shorter, but, you know, I want it also to have a little bit of detail of what it can be used for that's actually practical. This one can easily half or even cut three quarters off a main quest in the entire actual Skyrim storyline. Anyone remember the quest where you have to pick up that lexicon for that crazy old dude in the Arctic zone? Whenever you have to pick it up and, and bring it to him from a... Um, from a dwarven ruin. Well, there's an extreme shortcut that where you don't even have to go into the actual dungeon itself. You have to find the Tower of Mizvolta something. I don't know how you pronounce these weird words. And I don't remember where it is, but I know it's on a mountain. I think this is it. Yeah. Tower of Mizark. Now, Whenever you show up here, um, it's locked. You can't get in at all. There's a lever inside that you have to do. You have to go through the dungeon and then go up the elevator with the lexicon and then pull the lever and then there you go. You have that. You have that tower of Mazark to be able to get into the dungeon again and use that shortcut. But. Not if you have a platter. So where is that lever? Here it is. All right, one, two, three. There we go. Now, see that? I cannot use it again. And if you, if anyone wants to ask about the jagged crown, I can also do an episode on that. But where'd the platter go? I think I might have lost my platter. Oh, there it is. No, it's a plate. Where's my platter? Well, where did my platter go? Oh, there it is. Get out of here. See that? Yep, I forgot what buttons. I know it said A, but... There we go. Alright. One, two, three. And there we go. Ta-da! And 
there you go. There's the shortcut open. I've already done the quest, mind you, but if you're feeling lazy and you don't want to do this quest, do the, I don't remember what the name of the quest is, but it's the one where you had to pick up the lexicon for, for that Septimus Cygnus, dude. So, so yeah. For this one, you really only need one platter because you can just go in and do this, open this for you. But sometimes there will be a locked door that you can't get through again, so so it's safe, so it's good to, to be cautious and carry a second platter with you, just in case. Anyways, guys, thank you if you watch this, and if you want me to continue, do other tips and tricks, tricks and you know give details I can even explain certain quests and everything and I can even do a walkthrough even if I've already done the quests I can go to their dungeons and even explain what enemies there are because even if I haven't played this game in a while I do remember a lot of the details this is one of the few games I do remember many of the details so so yeah thank you this is your favorite angry piece of furniture, out.